what we want to do is, is, is talk about the Joomla Community Magazine and um, I'm going to start off talking about some of the history and the philosophy of the magazine and then Alice Grave is going to come up and, and tell you some things about the international section of the magazine and, and some of her other thoughts. Then Herman Piran is going to come up and, and share with you some of the beautiful artwork and illustrations that him and his partner Nelke do. And then Diane Henning will come up to, uh, to close us out. And then we'll have time if you all have any questions for anything. So the, the magazine website is at magazine.joomla.org and it's uh, it was a project that started in October of 2009 and it launched in July of 2010 so it took us nine months from the from the time we started just talking about it as a concept till we actually launched um, which was a long time it was too long in my mind I, I was with it the whole time um, and so if I was going to do that, a project like this over again, I'd really try harder to, to push it forward because we were really starting to lose momentum by the, by the, uh, by the time we launched. But the good side of it is, is that taking that longer time period allowed us to have a lot of openness and discussions with the members of the team, It'd give everybody a chance to have their say about what they wanted to do and how they wanted to do it. And by the time we did launch, everybody felt like it was their magazine instead of just a website that they were going to help out with and so I think that was that was the good side of taking an extra long period of time for it we probably spent three months just having discussions on the all together as a whole dot org website um, talking about overall mission and, and goals and um, once we got things crystallized and focused enough I took that back to the community leadership team and asked them for uh, input and approval, which they gave. Um, we got uh, approval for Fotis and his team to build the website out with K2. And then we kind of moved the discussions. At once CLT approved it, we moved the discussions from altogetherasawhole.org over to forums.joomla.org so that it would be more of official archived uh, discussions for an official um, Joomla project and then it was uh, you know the taking care of the last 250 details that we thought would take two weeks and ended up taking two months to uh, just get every every bit of the website as, as nailed down and, and as ready for production as we could um, so that's, that's a pretty short summary version of the history of the magazine. As far as the philosophy of it goes, this is, and again, this is some of those earlier months on All Together as a Whole really helped shape the philosophy of the magazine, and, and I'm really proud of it. And I think that was time and effort well spent. Um, we, we have a structure where we've got about 13 different topics that we feature every month as long as we have an article submitted for each of those topics and they cover everything from feature stories which can cover anything to uh, uh, Joomla events, uh, developer oriented articles, design oriented articles, administrative, administrator oriented articles. Um, we've got a haiku topic if, if for community members to submit a haiku. Um, we have a, a cartoon topic um, that, that Herman will show you later. Um, what else am I missing, ladies? Book reviews. I said events, did I or didn't I? Um, there's a leadership's connections topic. We've got the international section. Um, those are the main ones. We've got a new one planned that Diane will tell you about shortly. But, uh, the idea with the magazine is that we we have a team of editors. There's about 30 of us on the team, and we will either write articles ourselves for each of the topics 
and we will also accept submissions from anybody in the community who wants to get an article published on Joomla.org and it's a nice little spiff you can have your little profile at the end of your article and you can link to it and it can um, you know promote you and yourself and um, as long as the subject that you write about fits within the uh, the, the goals of the magazine which basically if you're talking about Joomla and it's a positive um, you know article that's emphasizing good things going on um, you can talk about problems if you uh, look at them from a positive standpoint and, and maybe suggest some solutions but um, that's kind of our our content philosophy um, we're real proud of the fact that we've got a lot of diversity on the team um, I don't know what the overall percentage of women volunteers in Joomla is, but I'll, I'll bet you on the magazine we've got um, a higher percentage of, of women uh, working on the magazine team than, than most projects, other projects, if not any of them. And I'll tell you that um, that has really made a big difference in the fun of working on the magazine with the different viewpoints and, and some of the um, uh, you know different points of view and perspectives on things and it's really helped and, and added a lot of energy uh, and fun to the to the team to, to have a good number of, uh, of women on the team so I would encourage everybody to, to try to follow that example too. Um, another thing that that I feel especially pleased with is that we try to find ways to help everybody on the team find a role that suits them and if they've got an idea for a new topic um, and it fits the philosophy of the magazine then we want to try to make that happen and Nicholas is a great example of that he had an idea for a, a new topic that he wanted to start and we talked about it and um, you know it made sense and, and, and we were we were able to, to add that to the list of topics to the magazine did you know is the name of it I think I didn't mention that one um, earlier either but uh, so we're we're kind of what things that are important to us are our diversity empowerment um, giving everybody a voice um, sometimes it takes us longer to make decisions on the magazine team than it might in a in another working group but we're willing to take the time to give everybody a chance to have a say and um, even if we everybody doesn't agree with the final decision then uh, um, at least everybody had a chance to get heard um, the the last point I'll make on the philosophy is there was a uh, there was a quote that was used in the initial issue of the magazine that I'll try to um, remember off the top of my head that I think sums up pretty well what the philosophy of of the team is and the energy that the team has and that that philosophy is or that that quote is is that if you want to build a ship and the ship's a metaphor for the magazine in this case then don't don't collect a bunch of people and have them and send them out to get wood and, and nails but, um, and don't give them a list of tasks and activities but instead teach them to love the sea and the, uh, the thing about this magazine team is that everybody that's on it loves Joomla, loves the community, and so when you've got that mentality, when you have that spirit, then it really makes the work a lot fun, funner, and it makes the, the result a lot better. And so those have been some of the um, key points of the philosophy of the magazine. We'll, we'll have question, time for questions at the end. Um, now I'd like for Alice to come up and talk about some other aspects of the magazine. She, she takes the oh yeah, sorry. Gravet, and I started with the magazine just as it was getting ready to launch so it's coming up on a year ago May last year I was uh, starting to come in and I have been uh, working with the feature stories and that involves some um, interviews and sometimes writing an article about a, a topic of interest I have 
in recent months taken over writing the OSM report for the month, uh, you know, putting information out about uh, leadership uh, activities over the last month. And I'm also in charge of the international section, which has been something that took a while after the launch to build, to find the best system to get it to work within the confines of what we could do technically now it's at a point where well when we all started it was even before we got to that the whole team said well we want to be able to offer our articles in different languages so um, the K2 guys worked with us to get the Google uh, translator on the home page so you can translate any page I know that Google Translate is depending on the language um, I've tested it with French. It's pretty good with French, but I've heard that Norwegian is really bad, and I'm sure it's, it's not perfect, but you, you can get an idea of uh, it, it's better than nothing, and we also thought this says we're trying to get more languages in, and then we thought, well, what if we published articles directly in the language and have on you know, Joomla.org, on a, this, a major section of the website, articles in French and in German and in Chinese and so forth. So we looked at how to do that. Christina Solano was a huge help in trying to uh, bend the, the back end to our will to do what we needed to do. Paul was open to all the ideas of uh, putting in process a system to submit articles. Um, the, and so today we have it working. We have um, over 20 languages and every month articles get submitted. What, what we need, is, all it takes is if the language isn't there to begin with, we'll create any language. Uh, we just need a person who speaks that language to volunteer to be the editor, to read over articles um, when they come in, just to check them for quality and you know appropriateness and so forth. So that's in place and every month, it seems like every month we add a language or two. And um, so that's, that's great, it's been growing. And I think the next step now is to get more interest in the local groups in, in every country to <coughs> get their users, the Joomla user group members and so forth to write an article on a topic that they're interested in and to submit it to the magazine and it will be published in, the, in that language, in the language section. There's an international button on the top horizontal Navigation. We've also recently started featuring a different uh, foreign language article on the home page every month, and we will be talking in the future about even you know making it bigger and better. Um, but we also we really need for the the local communities because Joomla we talk about the community, but it's communities all around the world to come together with their. Um, content and we'll be happy to publish it and would really like to see that to continue to grow and to be a place where people come all the time to look for articles in their language. Um, I think that's pretty much what I wanted to say. I would, just on a personal note, the, what I really love about um, working on the magazine is the people. Um, we have a, a fun chat room that is just, we have a, a great time. It's always fun at the end of the month when there's this big rush to get articles out and um, get the magazine launched. And now we have our checklists. You know, it's, it's not quite as clunky as it was once, but um, it's a fun time. It's intense. Everybody comes together. And uh, I really, really love being on the magazine. I really appreciate the, the wonderful leadership of Paul Orwig. I've learned a lot from him about uh, what great leadership is, and um, I also, I have been, you know, hearing people, the magazine has gotten some really nice recognition at this event, and it's, I think it's because the articles are interesting, and the articles teach us things, and I also have heard people say, it's just fun, I get that little thrill every time I go to it, and I go back and I read the articles, um, and I think, at least for me, in large part, that is thanks to the, our next speaker, Herman Pirin, and his um, artistic team, the artwork on the magazine, I just think is, makes it. So, Herman, I think it's your turn.
Thank you. Uh, well, our artistic team is a bit uh, much, I would say, for the two of us. Uh, uh, it's my girlfriend and, and, and me. Nelke, uh, we're together in that Yepper, uh, uh, and we try to contribute a bit to it too. But what I personally like very much about the magazine is also the quality articles. That, uh, for instance, that the template article that was in it, uh, uh, the, 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 the tips about uh, uh, how to. Uh, some tips they, they had together about articles. We, we made a whole session around that with our jug. And it was uh, very, very nice and it was also a good thing to uh, learn some people something about PHP f uh, using that article. And well, it's, it's good quality, all the, uh, all the stuff. And so uh, the, the, the Team E's things and well, liked it very much. And uh, uh, we were. Uh, uh, we, we were uh, joining in from the second number, that's after the last uh, uh, J and Beyond. And uh, we're doing two things. We, have the, uh, we are illustrating some articles, always the, the editorial article and sometimes some other articles or some categories that we have some illustration, made some illustrations for and also the, the cartoon. Uh, every month, but we do that later. Uh, th this was the first one we, we made about, uh, it was the second edition about a ship in a safe harbor. And uh, it's also, uh, w we also used the Yum Joomla logo in it. And we did that, uh, we, we thought about that very much. Can you use that? Can not? Yeah. Yes, we can. Yeah, really. And the you know, whole discussion we had about the, the soup. Uh, cans of uh, Andy Warhol and uh, his co Coca-Cola thing, well. But I think we use it in a positive way, in, a, in a, a way to be proud of. And what we are looking for is indeed to give it a, a face of its own to make something special, especially for the magazine. Because you can always get a picture from, from the internet, it's so big, but this is all made by hand especially for the magazine, and that's, that's unique. And Nelke, who is drawing, she doesn't know much about the whole Joomla community, and she doesn't care for it too, I think. <laughs> and, but, but that's nice, and she, she doesn't know about the subjects too, but we have a very nice cooperation on that. Uh, this was for the international stories, and then we also looked for all the the welcome uh, words in other languages, but I don't speak so well Cantonese, Chinese or something. So we were checking and double checking whether it was not something that was wrong. <laughs> because it, once it's there, that's, yeah, you, yeah my, my baby, you know that when I log in in the backside, no, not in the backside, when I log in into Joomla.org, um, I uh, get some advertisements, uh, some, uh, is that there or is that Joomla community, some Joomla site, when I log in I always get advertisements from Google. And they're always about a, a Rotterdam company who does everything with Drupal, it says Drupal rocks or something. <laughs> and it's, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's really, really nice. So on a Joomla site I always get advertisements from Google for Drupal. But you have to check and double check and that, that's difficult I think to do something international and uh, multicultural but that's also the challenge to, to, to find the good things and yeah. I, I like this one also very much, uh, yeah. the, the, the colors and the, this is every number it was, was in it. Uh, so. Ten times. This was. This was really last minute. Yeah, it was really last minute. That then, with, with the editorials, then mostly uh, uh, nowadays there is a deadline for the for the articles, the twenty third of the of the month, month, and then uh, some days later, mostly Paul 
or someone else who writes the editorial comes with the idea because they have to count they only come under pressure it's uh, that's how it works so that it has to come on the last minute and then at the last minute people say uh, okay, okay this is my idea can you do something with it and um, uh, this was from, from an article about the, the article was, was uh, 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 titled Size Matters and it was about uh, different Joomla uh, distributions making a light distribution and a super distribution and uh, uh, well, the, the, the mostly uh, we are very busy with other things, and then there comes some uh, some uh, thing. Can, can you do this? Uh, I know it's last minute, but can you do it? And then we say no, no, no. no. <laughs> but uh, then uh, Nelika starts uh, drawing. We, we talk about it, and then uh, it, yeah, I like it very much. And she uses a lot of uh, uh, collage. Is that the English word also? So uh, taking the the Mouse out. Well, but I like this one too. Uh, oh, by the way, we put a trademark there that should be an R, you know. So we make some mistakes, but we learn. You have to be keen on small things with humor. This was for the haiku. And you see, uh, it, it's very deliberately that we put those logos. It's also because it's not just a picture we took from internet. It is made for this. And yeah, we have seen more pictures of puppets being in a pyramid. But well, we made this this one. At least, no, I must not say that Nelica made this one. I. D I This also about working together. This was an editorial of about the new 2010, uh, yeah, Human 2010. That's uh, there was uh, yeah every every month there was uh, the the haiku, but uh, just one month. It was only one month, was it? This yeah, only in March. There was the 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 Yimerick, the Joomla Limerick, and uh, this was also with an editor. Yeah, yeah, I like it. It's also, huh? No, no, yeah, it looks like yeah. No, no, it's just uh, from an old uh, circus uh, poster. It was uh, taken. Yeah, but uh, she likes all those uh, things sticking together also and. Uh, this, is, this is Joomla Rising. Yeah. And I have a, I have a, a sun face, so I said, anything with a sun face. Yeah, we have a, a, a wooden bench in the living room with that face on it. Oh, really? So this is a picture taken in our living room. <laughs> yeah. Huh? It's a real wood, yeah. It's, it's in our living room, that thing. And we took the picture and put it in it. And uh, you asked want some, something about uh, a uh, road map. This is for the launch parties, actually, at 1.6 launch. Yeah, but, no, but it was about road map yeah. Yeah. also. Yeah, it was a road map. And, and, the, the, and 1.6 was coming, so there was also something about launch part parties in it. Um, this was uh, uh, then Paul wrote a whole story about uh, some explorer wanting to go to the South Pole and uh, needed some volunteers uh, and they had to be very brave and he said that that's a good uh, 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 thing we can use as uh, what we need for the magazine. We need volunteers but they need to be a bit uh, adventurous. So uh, <laughs> I, I like this one. Yeah. This was to vote for uh, Joomla with a packed pup uh, competition. Competition. You, uh, oh, oh. This this was for the uh, United Nations uh, site. Uh, we we asked people to work uh, for that conference from from the United States Na Nations 
to, to make a website and uh, to help save the earth. This was uh, the last time the open book. Uh, the, it, it also has a small reference to a man uh, with a raincoat. Uh, so then, then we, yeah, then we, no, we not. It was, it was not. Uh, yeah. That we 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 were not thinking uh, about Paul, but we were. No, but it it has, and then we but. That, we, that was the original idea. The original idea of, of Nelke was the man with the raincoats. And, and, but then we said, no, no, you can't, can't do that. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. You know that actually the end figure is right. That is the, the actual end figure that is in the budget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 24,188. The rest is uh, all mixed up, and I like. I also like this one that uh, the free. Oh no, it was two. <laughs> Bookkeeping. <laughs> oh yeah, but spoken about favorite pants. Uh, oh, it's coming. Oh, that that's in the in the cartoon. Yeah. Well, this is uh, the the winds of change for, in in the article. They're nice, they're so big. I, I, I've also presented them every month in the, our user, Joomla user group. We always start with uh, what's the news of this month and we show pictures also. Of course, also, then they say, oh yeah, yeah, we know who made them. And then, <laughs> this was the one, I mean, spoken about uh, <laughs> Yeah, favorite shoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was so much fun that uh, that uh, Paul left for San Jose for the, uh, the the conference, and so he left the magazine f to the ladies, and, uh, and and they all said, "Oh yeah, maybe uh, that, that there was some fun on the mailing list." That is, from now on, it's uh, public, but it was still now a, a closed mailing list. And we had some fun, of they, they made some fun. Oh yeah, maybe uh, we could uh, uh, change the whole magazine while uh, he is away and make, make a nice pink template. And, uh, and so Paul wrote an article about it. Uh, uh, if I'm away and maybe they, they dressed me up in a pink tutu. And he made it up himself. <laughs> but we were a bit worried. Can we do that? Can we do that? No, that's a lot of uh, uh, thinking over. And how how is that with putting a man in a dress? How is that in different cultures? And uh, you know, they, they also how, how how would that be in Mongolia, where they uh, have the magazine too? And well, yeah, but it's at some time that it's just fun and uh, okay, come on, we do it. And yeah. Did you, have to pose? Huh? <laughs> did you have to? I said, did he have to pose? No, no, that's also the, the, the picture is not the best. It's taken from his avatar, I think. Did you put some lipstick on? Lipstick on, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Oh, okay. You never see them this big in a magazine. Yeah, yeah. That's also that's, they're nice, so big, huh? Are those those false legs? Yeah. No, no, no. Also not. The, actually, my legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to pose for it, and, and I think my arms too. <laughs> no, I've not much hair there. Oh. The, yeah, that's re retouched, and uh, she's a Photoshop. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I like that very much. And then this was uh, from the, the the two guys here in. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. He wrote a, an, an article in a magazine about about your company and how you came to Joomla. I think it was something like that. What did you say? Yeah, Parthe did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and uh, but he wrote about him and his 
and the partner in his business. That, that's you then. Yeah, yeah. So it was about two two boys, and, and we also used here the, the you know the Hindi uh, script, and it says Joomla here in a kind of Hindi. Open yeah, open source and community and uh, uh, five years open source so there's all kind of things and you normally don't see all those details in the in the magazine but I like it to, to show it that big here and uh, but that, then it's also that we take that font uh, that looks like yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Because it's n not in Hindi, uh, of course. N normally, the, the letters are totally different. Yeah, 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 yeah. The line and all the letters hanging on it. It's so typically uh, India. And th here also, we then are starting to think: Can we do that? I should write uh, a, an email to Path first. Uh, because maybe this is so a uh, traditional picture, su such a prejudice we have about people in India sitting on a flying carpet. It, it, and more of, more of than India, yeah. And the, the structure at the bottom, that's more of kind of. Uh, yeah, yeah. We also knew that this is more t Turkey yeah, and. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. Uh, yeah. So it's. Uh, but but yeah, uh, and, and and then putting shall we put the Yuma logo on it? Yeah yeah, because it's for the magazine and it's not just a picture. And this was uh, uh, yeah, Christina said uh, looking at Yuma from different sides, and uh, yeah. Well, except except for uh, uh, things uh, uh, that we. Uh, uh, so it, that, that we illustrate, <coughs> we also every month have a cartoon of Jane Beyond. That uh, was uh, she was invented after the last uh, uh, J and Beyond, and this was also the first one going being about Jane Beyond. And we uh, uh, some people there drink. There, there was uh, a lot of beer drunk uh, drunk. So we put under it that Jane Beyond was a big success for the local breweries but uh, it was very very much looking for because we tried to have a little bit humor in this but humor and international cultural differences is mission impossible we, we sometimes I look at television to uh, some stand-up comedians from America and I see a whole big hall of people were laughing ha 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 and we are sitting just there this year and the other way around too where, when there's a successful comedian in holland we sometimes had it that they were so successful well well they were going to try it on broadway they were there for two days or something everybody forgot about that it never never worked so humor international is mission impossible but still it's the challenge maybe we can do some things and things we like and uh, not to be too rude and uh, yeah but we have to figure it out all the time yeah well the, this was the time that uh, 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 th th there was a, a, a lot happening Molagio uh, 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 came shortly after this and uh, it's also a bit your birthday where all the nice things happened with you in the box squ squad and <laughs> yeah yeah it was a remarkable one yeah yeah but well in the end Molagio came out of it and it's also I was a bit on git in that time and in github you have uh, that's developers uh, language and in get github you have a big uh, 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 button and on the top fork me and uh, they do a very good job in uh, making the word fork not so uh, not so heavy just okay it's open source and you so you take it and you fork it and you do something with it and you contribute back or not or uh, whatever but it's more the, all the pain in the past not the pain in the no the pain in the past who make it uh, 
so heavy the word fork and that's also almost uh, 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 I'd say it's very uh, tight. People say, no, 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 no fork, no fork, no fork. This is a distribution. There's no, you know, well, just fork it or not. or. Uh, but well, it was for the fifth birthday of uh, Joomla. And now I also see here, it's a trademark here, not an R. Some people could be angry about that, maybe. Uh, it's so, it's not easy, but that's also what we say here. <laughs> we, we uh, yeah, yeah. Jim Steel Radio is on the on the on the here, and he's listening to Jim Steel Radio. Jim, la la la, da 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 da. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, Jim Steel is. Uh, I think they released the the, things, the sessions that we had. Oh, yeah. I think it's up. I don't think yours is Amy yet because it's a little bit later, but. Uh, no, they're still censoring my my. <laughs> no, I have to upload it. I haven't had a strong enough connection. Yeah, we, we have n nobody that uh, that is model for uh, Jane Beyond. Uh, well, Nelica wears uh, glasses too, but has no uh, orange uh, things. And we, I also have to think about uh, 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 Amy uh, too a uh, bit. But I always have to think about Amy a bit when I see uh, Jane in some way or another. I don't know. <laughs> And then uh, uh, Bob's made that side uh, with uh, Hills uh, uh, about uh, Joomla rocks with all the frogs, and uh, they uh, uh, and, and then we made this uh, thing uh, also as a bit, uh, and the, the, the address was under it for uh, uh, our CMS rocks dot dot uh, org or com or dot com, yeah. Well, uh, then it was Christmas and uh, 1.6 almost came out <laughs> and uh, then it was released, I think, oh no, no not yet, first, the, the new year and, and uh, uh, Molagio uh, came out. And Molagio is uh, the, the letters of Joomla just a bit different, so we took it, we looked at all the possibilities, there were quite a lot of possibilities not only Molajo, but also Umla or Mo, Moloja, Lajum, etc. But yeah, I'm really considering Umla Java. Umla Java. <laughs> <laughs> la No, it's uh, that. and this here is also on the et etiquette. It says from Joomla, so it's coming from Joomla, and it's a special distribution, and the customers are very happy with it all sharing some part of the distributions. I like this one too. And then it was the, 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 the launch part, the launch of 1.6. Yeah, and sometimes it's difficult to find something that is... Uh, we, we like one more than the other, I don't know. But it's difficult to come up with a new one, it's time. No? Yeah. Okay, a little bit quicker. <coughs> Uh, okay, yeah, this one was, uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes a bit on the edge, maybe and maybe not, I don't know. It was, uh, we, we were looking for that, we, have, we had a whole discussion about it, can we do that, can we, can we not do it, but, well, uh, uh, we did it, and, um, uh, but we, you, you know, in the old times, the, there was a court jester, and the court jester was allowed to say things where others would be beheaded for immediately. But it was his role. We have, we have a court jester, yeah, we have the court jester now in this J and Beyond on, as the logo. That's very good that, that she took uh, with the nice eyes, the eyes that are going a bit. And we have a court jester, of course, that's Brian Tiemann. Especially when you saw him yesterday evening, he is our court jester, and that's very important as an official role. Someone who is allowed to say things that uh, that others are not allowed, because that's uh, that keeps uh, the thinking say, uh, sane. Also, it's it's, uh, it's an important. 
grow and we slowly try to gain that role with the cartoon also so that we are allowed maybe because it's so obviously over the top to do things that other people are not allowed but okay our discussion was also uh, yes but people are seeing this who don't know of any discussion with seeing Joomla for the first time and then a strange cartoon of Joomla with toilet paper no let's use something else no I don't think so but well that's our uh, thing and we, and we always fantasize about would those guys live in the same house with Jane or how is their relationship yeah she, she has to say something but and, and in the next uh, thing we had the court jester also stressed so from never take me too seriously uh, yeah but that, 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 this was our answer also on the the one before it and this was uh, with, the, with the wooden shoes <laughs> uh, going, uh, going to Jane Beyond, uh, having a, a, a lot of uh, uh, suitcases. And we, she, uh, Nella could just draw this, and then Brian Tiemann came with his uh, blog post about all his suitcases he had with uh, everything he took with him. So this was uh, my part of the presentation, and Diana uh, is. Uh, the next going to say something. I'm going to do two things really two. fast. Uh, okay. first of all, yeah, so, sorry so for me. Oh, my, uh, my oh. Um, want to say what a joy it is to work with with Paul with Alice with Christina with the whole team with and Herman's right it's it's really I have an idea for you can you do it at the last minute and he's like yes and so it's 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 it's, it's, it's great it's it's a lot of fun to work with these guys and we we really do enjoy ourselves and I think this is a big voice right now with in the community and we thank you all for your submissions and thank you guys for everything that you do and especially you Christina, who didn't want to get up and speak. <laughs>